All right, guys. So let me give you a very quick walkthrough of this PDF parser that I've that I've built on it in. Uh, so you know, we the trigger is that when when we get a new uh, purchase order, it's uh, saved in in a in a directory uh, in in a folder, right? So with that folder, when a new purchase order is added, that triggers this uh, uh, the entire workflow. Okay, so I am going to first go right here, and I'm going to go and add a new PO. So I'll start with PO one. All right. All right. I'll update this PO. All right. So as you can see. Let's take a look. Ah, okay. That's the previous one. This is the one that we that just run, just ran after one minute. There is a one minute wa uh, watch time, and I'll show you that. Uh, this one. Let it finish building up. And here we have it. This is executed uh, as identified and it, the, the check mark. Let's go and take a look at this, what we got. All right. So, Display name is Ibrahim Malik. That's my name, right? Uh, what am I getting here? Drive permission is given. All right. So identified a new PDF, right? And PDF is PO01, the digital tutor PDF, right? That's the PDF. All right. Cool. So first thing that we that we confirmed is that we were able to get triggered. Now, here, if you look at the JSON on this, there, of course, they went to, to the done uh, branch and five items, right? So first name, the digital theater delivered to, this is the address, part number, uh, description, external SSD one. Okay, so what we did not pick here, while it was processed, what we did not pick, get here is a part number uh, and, and the unit. Right in the unit cost, unit price. We have okay, okay. I have unit price so uh, 129 for five. Yeah, I think that we are still missing the part number. Now, once I have that, I'm gonna go check in here. All right, so as you would see, that this document is now this, this document is ready for viewing. I can click it. I can view it. It's the same purchase order that we've uploaded. Okay. So as you can see, we did not put up, there's a part number in this invoice. So it missed on the part number. So what, what I'll, what I'll do is we'll change it and put a part and instead of part and description, well, we'll do one column for part and one for description. Okay. So that was more of, a, uh, more of a design error. That the field that I uploaded did not have the columns that I'm looking for. All right, so let's go back and at least see what else happened here. All right, so this of course went to the true branch because you know the MIME types is equal to application that PDF. So if there is a, a PDF application coming in, send it to Lama Parse right here, and this is where it, <clears throat> you know we've sent it to Lama Parse. As you can see, it's pending. Uh, so for that, we've added a wait processing, right? So we'll, we'll, we'll wait for 10 seconds. It's still pending, as you can see. Then we'll do a HTTP request. So here, okay. let's see what we're normalizing here. So we're going to create it. The content we have captured all that we needed to, right? Is basically what we captured. Right. Now let's go and check on this. So we have posted whatever we posted to 335. All right. Let's go back and take a look here. Yep. Okay. The digital tutor, you know, five items. Again, we are missing uh, 
the part number and all right the other other problem that we see here is it doesn't have the part number so there we have it this is your uh um workflow very simply done you can download it use it as you like uh the other other uh, you know fun if you know, use cases could be is that look, you get you get PDF invoices from a lot of vendors, and you want to be able to maybe maybe parse it out, put it in a Google Sheet or somewhere, or maybe import it as a CS from a CSV to your your uh, you know your QuickBooks or your your uh, homemade uh, accounting system, whatever you're using, right? Whatever process you're using, so you can have that parsed out and get emerged immersed in the in the way that you do the work as well right that could potentially save you lots of hours trying to sit there going through each line item and and making sure that you could key it in uh i'm sure there are a lot of other use cases i would love to hear from you is how could you uh, how could you use this pdf parser uh, and and what are your use cases show me tell, come back tell me what your challenges were happy to jump on a call with you as well all right uh subscribe uh hit the uh, bell notif uh, uh and the bell notifications 